Support this podcast via our Patreon and get more writerly goodness. Visit patreon.com slash nanocast to join up. Welcome to NaNoWriMo Every Month. My name is J. Daniel Sawyer. I'm the author of some 20 books, 34 short stories, and numerous articles and other things, and I am your guide on this journey to use NaNoWriMo to level up to professional output levels. Welcome to The Questions, Episode 69. Today, J.R. asks, What are your pre-publication rituals? Now, by that question, J.R., I'm going to assume that you mean the procedures that we go through here at AWP and that I go through as an author to get a book up rather than which gods do I happen to sacrifice which forms of livestock to at certain points in the lunar cycle in order to guarantee a fruitful return on my investment of time and creativity. If you're looking for the latter, well... It basically boils down to allowing a slaughterhouse to sacrifice a sheep and picking up a leg of lamb and making up a really good batch of lamb and spinach curry, because that's one of my favorite things in the world, and it's a little bit expensive to make, so it's one of my celebratory things when I release a book. Either that or Neapolitan pizza. Ha 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 Neapolitan pizza in a wood-fired oven. It's so hard to get out here on the coast, but it's so worth it. Anyway... I'm assuming that that's not what you meant, but more, what actually do I do to get ready for publication? So, um, there is what I currently do, and then there's what we're going to be bringing online in the next couple of months. So I'll tell you each one, and why we haven't been doing the latter set sooner. Currently what happens is, once the proofread and the edit and the fixes get all done, the manuscript goes to Kitty Nikian at AWP for layout for the paperbacks, and I create the ebooks because I've been doing that for years and I'm very good at it, usually using the cover art that she provides because she's a fantastic cover artist. I test the ebook out on the various apps for the various sales platforms, make sure it's standards compliant, run it through EPUB check, and once it's ready, I will upload it to every commercial site that we have an account with at AWP, and Kitty will push the uh, paperback to proof stage, go over it, make sure that it all looks good, and then set it live. And I will set the ebooks live, and in a good publication cycle, it all goes live at the same time. I then put a sample of the book up on my website so that you can read the first few chapters and decide where to buy. At that point, I publish an announcement in the newsletter. Usually I'll talk about it on my podcasts when it comes out. I might tweet about it once or twice, but not a whole lot. I don't like to annoy my Twitter followers. Just, you know, the way you would announce a blog post. In fact, I usually do it by tweeting about the blog post that announces the book. And then, that's it. That's pretty much all we do. Now, what we're going to be doing in the coming months is, uh, first of all, we're going to be podcasting a lot more because that's a core competency of us at the company here. Probably going to start scheduling podcast interviews to go around on book tour, so to speak, and get my face and voice in front of more people. We'll be pulling a rabbit out of one of Scott Sigler's old hats and releasing uh, sample chapters or sample mini ebooks at podcasts and blogs that might have the audience that would be suitable for my book. I'm also going to start very soon doing free short fiction in order to attract more readers. We're going to be later this year starting to push stuff through trade channels so that it's more obvious to bookstores and easier for bookstore buyers to discover. And we're currently looking at a whole bunch of other potential marketing things like doing book bubs and other stuff like that that may require a little bit of money or a little bit of extra time investment. Now, the reason we haven't done all this stuff up to this point is I haven't had enough of a catalog in any one particular area for AWP to feel like it's worth the trouble to invest a lot of resources in promoting them. I haven't had enough leverage going forward. And what you want when you're doing marketing is you want to be able to market one book and grab a halo effect off of that. People like the book, they continue on to other books in the series or other books that you've written in the genre and that kind of thing. And I've only just crossed the threshold of having more than six, seven books in each genre. And over the next couple of years, I'm going to be working towards having 10, 20 in each genre, because that's when things really start kicking in for a lot of people. So that's my next sort of goal threshold. 
But because I'm a multi-genre author, we're just at the beginning of where those sorts of marketing activities will be much more likely to bear a sustained increase in sales and market presence and a sustained attraction for new readers as opposed to just a quick spike and then down again. And sustained sales are always better because the longer you're highly visible, the more people have a chance to find you. And the more people that find you, the greater a chance you're going to find a true fan. And your true fans are the people that make your career possible. So that's what we do in order to publish and publicize a book. I hope that's helpful. And as we go through this year of learning marketing much more thoroughly, because we're now going to be doing it, I'll update you guys from time to time on stuff that I learn here and there. Because even those of you starting, before long a lot of you are going to be at the point where you do have enough of a catalog for the leverage games to be worth playing. So, keep up the writing, thank you for the question, and I'll see you tomorrow. NaNoWriMo Every Month is written and presented by J. Daniel Sawyer and produced by Artistic Whispers Productions. Visit our website at NaNoWriMoEveryMonth.com and leave a tip in the tip jar or join the Patreon to support this podcast. NaNoWriMo Every Month is copyright 2016 by J. Daniel Sawyer and Artistic Whispers Productions and is released under a Creative Commons non-commercial attribution no derivatives license. <laughs>